Today's video from sam 4 Help. we're taking a detailed look at PLU programming on the ER260 BEJ register. Um, so PLU programming is probably the most important aspect of the programming you'll do on this till. Um, PLU stands for product or price lookup. Um, on the machine, on the standard memory allocation, um, there's a thousand PLUs in total in the till memory. Only 180 PLUs are active as standard. Um, but as long as you haven't messed around with your memory allocation, it's easy to activate beyond the 180 and up to the 1000. Um, PLUs work, we can use them in different ways. The easiest way of using them are their one touch buttons here. Uh, so buttons 1 to 15 on the default keyboard are programmed to be PLUs 1 to 15. Um, so they don't have any price associated with them as standard. So you can use them as they are by ringing through open sales. Um, but it seems a bit of a, um, not using the machine to its full extent um, if you don't even give them uh, a name. But what you can do is you can also give them a preset price. Um, you can also assign them to a tax rate um, if you've set tax rates up on the machine. Um, but what I'll do is I'll run through a couple of different ways that you could set the PLs up and how you could how you could use them. The thing to bear in mind is that PLUs themselves don't appear on the end of day report. Obviously their, their summary totals do, they're included in the total amount of sales, but you can run a specific report by PLU as well, uh, which you can run daily. So I'll show you how to do all that. Um, beyond the 15, you can also, so you're probably wondering, well, if there's a thousand PLUs, how do you sell the ones beyond uh, numbers 15? You've got a PLU button here. So if you sell PLU 100, you'd simply type in 100. PLU, you can do multiplies, multiples as well, so 4 multiply PLU 3, um, 5 multiply PLU 99, and so on and so on, so it's quite easy to use the ones beyond the 15. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the programming. Don't go off my video totally, have, your, have a copy of the manual um, as well, because there might be things that I gloss over to try and keep the video under 10 minutes. Um, but other than the manual, the only other thing you'll need is the P key, so the metal key marked P. Pop it in the mode switch or mode lock and then turn it around to program mode. Number one is PLU, so you can go straight into that by pressing cache. And then you can go into add and change. You've also got delete PLU stock and um, NUL code. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to look at stock or deleting PLUs in this video. I'm going to try and concentrate on the, the most popular ways of using them, so setting them up and using them. Um, so when you go into PLU, you can either do one, we'll do one PLU at a time. Um, so you press cash to go into that. You then enter the PLU number or press, um, or simply press one of the PLU buttons. So I'm going to start with like kind of the most boring way of using PLUs. So um, this is for a till, this is for a shop that sells, that just wants three different PLU buttons. They're not going to assign prices to them, but they just want it to be um, tax ready. So I'm going to set up button one as VAT, button two as reduced VAT, and button three as non-VAT. So to do that, when it's appearing, we're in one PLU, descriptions on the screen, cash to go into it, and then now you can type over the new description. There we go, cash to save, and then we can have a look at some of the other settings. I'll look at price in more detail on the next one. All I want to make sure on this one is that I'm a if you've seen my tax video, you'll know that I've set up tax rate 1 to be 20% and tax rate 2 to be 5%. So I just want to make sure that my VAT product is going to be at tax 1, taxable by rate 1. Yes, it is. Um, so then the others will all be at no. So taxable by rate 2, no. Clear. You can decide it to a group. That's not really relevant for this one. So I'm going to come out of that. We'll go into more detail um, shortly when I program some different products. So this product is PLU2, so I'm going to set that to be reduced VAT. So again you just go into it, type over the description. It 
So because E and D are on the same button, I need to, if I keep pressing it to get the D, it will just keep toggling on. So you need to press this skip button here, and then that tells the tool you want to move on to the next letter. It sets the one you were on. Same again. I'll just call it reduced. And then this one, because it's in my tax rate 2, I'm going to go down to taxable by rate 1. That's at no, which is correct. And then taxable by rate 2. I need to change that to yes. If you've not seen my tax programming video, I'll set that up. Um, I'll put a link to that at the end. And then my non-VAT department, my not button free is going to be non-VAT. Ah, uh, that didn't press the skip button. None. So the dash will be here. It's quite nifty the way they've done the keyboard. There's not that many buttons to play with, but they've, they've managed to make the um, text programming not as horrendous as on some other models. So there we go, non that description. Um, and I need to make sure, crucially, because I've got tax set up, I need tax rate 1 to be no, because that's my 20% VAT rate. Tax rate 2 to be no, because that's my 5% VAT rate. Taxable by 3 is yes, I want that. So you arrow up. There we go. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to pr now program there. That's a bit of a boring, basic way of using the till. So all I'm doing is I've got open buttons that say VAT, reduced VAT, and non-VAT. For some businesses, that's fine. They've got free VAT rates and they've just been told by their accountant that's how they want to report. They're not bothered about tracking individual POUs. So you can see there we've got VAT at tax rate 1, reduced at tax rate 2, non-VAT at tax rate 3, which means my tax 1. So the way these tills work is that £1 includes my VAT rate at 20%, so if you take 83p, add 20% on, it comes to a pound, which gives you 17p tax, or VAT, and then my 5% one there is tax two. Okay, so if you want to go, if you want to do that, that's fine, uh, but you can also use the PLUs to actually track individual items, so you can program an individual item in. So I'm going to pick a, a few items that you might have in a convenience store, and go back around to program mode, PLU, Add and change, one PLU, um, I'm going to set up um, button 21, PLU 21 to be semi-skim milk. So you type in 21, press cash, cash to change the description, and then type it in. Semi skimmed space is here. Two points. Okay, and then arrow down. So I'm going to put in a price on this product because this is a, going to be a preset product. So two points of semi skim. What's that these days? About 135 I reckon at a local corner shop. Cash to save. Preset yes. So then there's another so that basically means yes the button is preset with a preset price. So you don't want to force the operator to put in a variable price. Preset override gives the operator the ability to put in a separate price. We don't want that on our semi-skin milk. There's also another setting that lets you override prices in the manager mode only, but I won't scroll all the way down to there and start messing around with that because this video will be really long. Taxable by rate 1? No, because it's milk. Taxable by rate 2? No. Taxable by rate 3? Yes, remember, obviously your tax rates might be different, so don't follow exactly everything I'm doing. Um, I'm now going to program one more convenience store style product and then I'll do a couple of buttons as if this was being used in a pub or a cafe and then I'll, I'll run through it all. So PLU 22 is going to be 
tune it in. Price. Oh, so you've got to go into it. So I didn't. I started scroll. I started entering the price there. You cannot do that. The cash button is like your enter button or save button. Yes, preset. Preset override. No. And then my tax status. Tax rate one. Arrow up to change it to yes. The others will all be at no. But it's worth double checking, just in case you've been messing around in the programming mode like I have. You just want to double check you've got your tax rates right. I'll cover groups and inventory in a separate videos. So you do stock on this machine as well. Um, let's also program quickly a couple of beers or a, let's say a pint of Carlin just for convenience or speed. Where are we? Space is here. I'll just PT for point, cash to save, preset price. You can have price levels on the machine. Um, I've not enabled those, um, so I cannot do a price shift. But you could have a separate button. You can actually have. Um, thinking about it, you can have um, modifier levels. So if you're looking to do hospitality. Um, so there's my Carlin point, 10 times Carlin point, cash it off, my other PLUs, 21, PLU, 22, PLU, and so on and so on. So yeah, that's how to set up PLUs on the ER260. I've got other videos showing you how to run the PLU report and then looking at the stock um, inventory system on the machine. Um, but you can see how easy it is, it's really you just need the manual to know your PLU list and then um, quite a bit of time. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.